So I'm the emotional one in the family. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> the sensitive one, actually. <laughs> Chaplain for cancer patients at the QE2, I see hundreds of people every year. Each one touches my life in subtle ways. A few touch my life in a profound way. I can't say I remember everyone as hard as I try, but a few stand out as unforgettable. That's a real testament to their character and spirit, to make that permanent an impression on my thick skull. You, my brother, are among them. I remember fondly first meeting you on the cancer unit. Your genuine smile and your good nature seem to radiate into the room. And I know this man would be a blessing to my day. As I continue with the privilege of providing support to you and Mariella, I found that inevitable anticipation growing. We're not supposed to have our favorites, but I admit I enjoyed her conversations more than I did with others at the time. I came in to relieve your suffering, sometimes through words, sometimes through energy, and always through being truly present. I think it's important you know that you helped me heal me, for you reminded me of perseverance, joy, vulnerability, and the gift of being real. Thank you. I wish you days that are saturated with wonder. I wish you nights illuminated by that amazing starry sky you are graced with from your home. I wish you both a continued life that shines with amazing love, peace, and joy. Cheers, David McGinley, Chaplain Huey 2 Mary, R.E. Mike. <laughs> I would have to say that I feel very privileged to have met Mike, unfortunately in, setting, in, in a setting associated with ill health. But I found that despite the negatives and pain associated with the transplant experience, Mike was always a positive, optimistic man, a quiet, reflective individual who took each day as it came. He had a strong spiritual connection which can play a large role in one's recovery. I also learned through conversations with him and Mariella that he had a few talents too. Carpentry and creating beautiful things from wood. They graciously invited me for a visit to their home, which sadly I have not been able to do as yet, but fully plan to. He said I may find the, <laughs> I may find the table saw in the middle of the kitchen, but we joked that that was okay. We could use it to carve the ham for supper. <laughs> I feel honored to have met Mike and Mary and try to keep in touch with them by email just to share a story in which Mike, wish Mike continued good health. All the best, Mike. We'll have those ham sandwiches yet. But regards, Kathy Walsh, VMT nurse. <laughs> this is a short one. Hi, Mike and Mary. Wish we could be there for you for the March 10th events. We are thinking of you and hope things are going well. You have been through so much and you are an inspiration to us. God bless Jill and Melina. <laughs> <laughs> 